emails, and I've gotten quite a roasting on several hunting <laughs> forums. Uh, this is a truly contentious issue, and uh, I, I think I've gotten enough information now that we can understand where this is coming from and what the viewpoints are. Uh, I've been contacted by a number of New Zealand hunters who tell me that they don't have a problem with people using a helicopter to access uh, a hunting area. The big issue that people have is with the, the use of helicopters to spot game from the air and then either let a hunter shoot from the helicopter or drop a hunter off and use the helicopter to drive the game to the hunter. And these two forms of helicopter hunting are what's causing the, the biggest arguments. Um, I've, I've received emails from uh, New Zealand hunters who say that their hunts have been ruined because they've, they've been hunting on foot and putting in all this effort, and here comes this helicopter, swoops in over them, drops a guy off, pushes the game to him, and they're gone. And there's some real uh, um, hard feelings about this, yeah, as you could imagine, and, out in New Zealand. And it's very understandable, quite frankly. I mean, uh, I've done some doll sheep hunting, and... You know, I've had to march up that mountain uh, much higher and much steeper than I ever wanted to go in my life only to get up there. And, you know, like I said, the doll sheep kind of watches me come up. I get about a 1,000 yards. He goes, okay, bye-bye, and he goes right over the top of the hill. Hey, that's, that's hunting. Exactly. Now, you know, that's just hunting. I need to be a better hunter. Not, not, I don't want to change anything there. I just need to become a better hunter. Now, shooting from the helicopter, I'm not comfortable with that. Uh, getting me up there and dropping me off where I have to march to a location on the mountain and maybe set up my shot from there, uh, I can see where that has some future to it. There's certainly some hunters who um, physically couldn't do that. Uh, but uh, again, it, it, it's, uh, it's an iffy kind of a thing. And certainly driving any game towards me after I'm up there I, I'm not. I'm not going with that one at all. But as for transportation, it's understandable. I, you know, everybody has their own interpretation of what a hunt is, and uh, I, I guess I can understand that. Certainly, if it's a handicapped hunter, certainly if it's an older hunter, um, I mean, there are certainly applications for that. But well, the issues that have come up are there. Are, you can take six hunters and in a week get or in a few days get game for all of them using a helicopter but if you're going to hunt them on foot you're talking about putting in a lot more time right. that's for both the outfitter and right. for the hunter so you've got some guys the way they they see it is i'm flying all the way over there to new zealand i want to take um you know so many animals and i don't have all week to put in j excuse me, just to get a, a chamois or a tar. So they're willing to do things that perhaps in other destinations they might not do. Um, it's come to my attention that this latest contentious uh, argument, argument uh, arguing, excuse me, and uh, what has driven this petition that I told you all about last time is um, there was a hunter who went to New Zealand and he hunted from a helicopter and he admits shooting game from the helicopter mm -hmm. and he says that it wasn't his preferred way of hunting but when in Rome do as the Romans well a lot of New Zealanders took great exception to this yeah, and said hey that's understandable. this is not sure. the way New Zealanders do this right. Right, right. Well, and again, it does go back to the fact that your definition of hunting may be different than mine. But this is not like going down to the corner and getting a taco. You know, there's not any guarantee here involved. And I wonder, I mean, if I say, well, listen, I've only got three days and I'm going to spend a lot of money to get there. Uh, you know, I, I got to question the hunter there too. I got to say, well, are you going on a hunt or are you going down to the corner to get a taco? I mean, there's no guarantee here. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm I'm very. We need more on this. I I need more input 
from hunters, uh, and I'm sure you're getting a lot of input yourself, Barbara, but I, I, again, your definition of hunting, I mean, what is this about? We have to really be careful here because the whole world is watching, okay? It's just as simple as that. The whole world is watching, and if it's okay in New Zealand, is it okay in Zimbabwe? Is it, I mean, where does it stop then? The issue well, is way too complex. One of the things that, that is brought up is, well, it's illegal just about everywhere else to use a helicopter this way to go hunting. New Zealanders, many New Zealanders will tell you, well, it's not legal here in New Zealand either. But if you talk to a, a number of outfitters and even the New Zealand uh, Professional Hunting uh, and Guide Association has told me flat out, that helicopter hunting is legal in New Zealand. Well, so is it or isn't it? Well, here's what I found out. What you have is, in New Zealand, uh, some time back, 30 years ago, the New Zealand government went on a quest to exterminate all uh, introduced game in New Zealand. They took the stance that uh, this game was... Uh, competing with the sheep that uh, they make a living raising and that uh, the game was damaging the habitat and so forth and so on. So they wanted to eliminate all of this game, all of this introduced game in New Zealand. Well, what you had was a number of operators who sprung up who used helicopters to shoot and retrieve wild game to sell it on the, on the meat market. Mm. So they developed what are called wild animal, uh, let's see, wild animal recovery operation permits that allowed these operators to shoot game from the helicopter and retrieve the game from the helicopter. It allowed